Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social talking to you from South Kensington. Science Museum behind us, Victoria and Albert Museum over there, Natural History Museum over there. So it's the great mecca of things to do on a weekend. There's quite a few people about, so we're going to go and have some fun, loosen up, talk to some people, and enjoy. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how many tickets do I need to get in? No, it's fine. Just have a word with my colleague. Oh, win yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. A personality. Yeah, just just a general. Oh, great. That's the best ticket ever. Excuse me. Did you see the exhibition with all the hanging blue things yet? No. Right. Is, is it was... just loads of hanging blue things? Yeah. Blue things? Yeah. Well, that's a great mystery to all oh, of us. Oh, okay. I saw that the the London School of Design is doing like a number of exhibitions yeah. around London. Yeah. And one of them involves loads of hanging blue things. things. Okay. No, I didn't see it at all. Oh. No. So did you come for the exhibition? Or did no, you just... No, I just came to chill, hang out, look around. Look at some ancient... I just moved here, so... You just moved to London? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome Thank home. You. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be here for three years, so. Where did you move from? Penzance. Cornwall? Cornwall, South, yeah. South, south southern part of Cornwall, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the very end. I'm right yeah. near Land's End, which is the end. The end. Well, the so end of the land, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I've, I've, spent, I've been there, actually. Oh, I used nice. to spend a lot of time in Port Gaven. Yeah. Um, Rock, uh, Polzeth. Mm hmm. Wow, not very common ones. No, Polzeth. Normally people are like Newquay, Perrinport. No, I've been through yeah. Newquay, but Port Isaac has the best restaurants. Yeah. Uh, Port Gaven has the best pubs and little private beaches. And uh, Rock has um, loads of tourists. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Penzance has loads of it as well, but really? there's fuck all there. So. Tell me what is that? What's Nothing. what's the most exciting thing in Penzance? That's so hard because there's literally nothing. There's winding roads and steep yeah. and steep inclines yeah. and declines. And, but it's not like we even have a beach there, you know what I mean? Like have you seen it? It's just like pebbles. <laughs> and everyone's like, Oh you have a beach? And I'm like no, it's just rocks, <laughs> boulders. It's not rock so pools cool. with little mussels and crabs. No, where far, again, fathers and children can skim stones. Oh, yeah, you can skim stones. You can skim there stones. So we found something go. about one your wonderful day. city. That's it's not even a city. It's a small borough. What's what's not um, even a town, is it? No, what's a, a ham? A hamlet. Hamlet, that's the word. It's a hamlet. Yeah, pretty much. I would call it a hamlet. But okay. I don't know. It was a nice place to grow up, but much prefer London, I yeah. must say. Where are you living in London? Near Bloomsbury. Bloomsbury. Mm. Very nice, very central. Yes. Lots of things to do. Yes. Close to so the. So I decided to come like the complete opposite direction and do something outside of it. <laughs> I've come from Canary Wharf. Oh, nice. You've never been there, have no. you? No. You should go there. I probably will. It's lots of... I've got three years' worth of exploring, so... I, I really... I like, I hope that you are exploring for three years. What happens most of the time, people come here, they get really excited for two weeks. Yeah. And then they pass their time in the same place this with the true. same people. Yeah. So one has to be to active. Friends. One has to be very active about the exploring. Sure I will be. Yeah? Yeah. Do you, um, what do you like to do? What are your... Um... Oh my God, what? I don't know. Well, because do I'm, 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 uh, I'm interviewing you for a, a place in a very special group. <laughs> oh, good Lord, what group? <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound sinister. <laughs> no, like, I, I, I'm a weirdo, so when I um, do... I don't really like going to bars so much. Yeah. But when I meet cool people, I put them in... Um, look... Adventures, London Adventurers. So I've got a group of like cool people, and we all go and do like outdoor activities. Oh right. Um, they're all really friendly and fun, and yeah. and so like two weeks ago we went to like a ninja gym. Oh my god. And we were like swinging and jumping. Yeah. And uh, I've just realised that, that I'm in my element when I'm doing like outdoor nice. activities like bouldering. Yeah. And and you're you're you you're very um, 
I give God. off that vibe that I, I like don't, bouldering. I don't want to, you're very attractive <laughs> and I don't want to compliment you too early. Oh, thank you. But I, I don't normally do that. <laughs> I'm deviating from from uh, from everything everything I've learned up yeah. until this point, which is never compliment a pretty girl before oh, um, too early. You. But you, yeah. you're very pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're very good looking too. So we're both good looking. We're both good looking, which is really good. But I'd worry about how blue our baby's eyes would be. <laughs> Or blonde hair. Is this all uh, natural? No. But I did have it's, very blonde it's, hair when It's I was verging a baby. on blonde. You could get away with blonde from that, couldn't you? Yeah, I would say so. I wanted it to look natural. Yeah. I box dyed it in Spain. I was just ginger for like two months. How did that happen? Did you dye? Yeah. With the box dye, like the thing you just get from the supermarket. Should we have a walk around? I've actually got to go. Why are you going? Because I've got to go back. I, funnily enough, have to FaceTime my mum, so... <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. Well, I promised her three o'clock and it's going to take me a while to get back. I hope you've got something to... Uh, something to do. I don't know how you speak to your mother, but this 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 could be the content of your of your next FaceTime. It time. might... Maybe. Maybe. A strange man offered me to join a group and told me that our baby's eyes would be too... <laughs> Yeah, that's unusual. I'll tell her what happens I know, in London. I know. Um, well, I, I would love to message you on WhatsApp. And, sure. And maybe another time you could come to either some sort of outdoor excursion or we could return here and, to... and do something here. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you actually like outdoor activities and things? I or... do. Uh, funnily enough, I broke my elbow in Spain skateboarding. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. You could, te- you could teach the group how to skateboard. We I haven't don't done think I could. Like I have an insane fear of it now. Oh. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Sorry, Sam. I just completely defied your mask. The whole, <laughs> the whole purpose has now gone out no the window. I'll, I'll send you a message now. Bye. Did you steal her bow and arrow? Sorry? She was meant to be firing a bow and arrow. Um, yes, so. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, God. She's got, she's got the whole pose ready. But you've stolen it from her. <laughs> what did you do with it? No. No? He's holding some... She's like, she's holding some weird thing on her arm, by so... Where? Yeah. Oh, that's part of the bow and arrow. Is it? Yeah, yeah, look. So, bow and arrow, it's like that, right? Yeah. But when, when someone's stolen it, all you've got is just a little bit of, of the middle, where the handle is. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> do you know who's the sculptor? No. Can't look, that's cheating. <laughs> That's cheating. Um, so actually, I came to ask you, uh, do you know about the exhibition here? There's supposed to be a room with lots of blue hanging sticks from the roof. And, uh, and I came to see it and, and, and I haven't found it. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I just popped by. Do you live here? No. Coventry. Oh, right. You weekend. just came to London for the weekend? Yeah. Birthday party. No, 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 just take care of my brother's cat. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like every excuse I've ever given for, no. for, for being late with something. It's not. Why is that late? Oh, I'm taking, oh care, of, I'm taking care of my brother's cat. That's the cat. No, no, I believe you. I'm just <laughs> saying it sounds like a, no. a really good excuse. That's not a cat, that's a tiger. You're taking care of, a, of a, an endangered uh, four-legged predator. Yeah. <laughs> Does she scratch and bite? Oh, he. Sorry, I don't want to offend him. I don't want to offend him. What's his name? Toffee. Toffee. And what's your name? Mitchie. Hi, Mitchie. I'm Sam. Hi. Sorry, my hands are a bit sweaty. I like sweaty hands. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way to freak you out straight away. Um, well, I hope you find the blue hanging sticks. I'm going to go and look for them. Um, um, so, so if if God wills it, um, then then I, I'll find you underneath the, the blue hanging sticks. Okay. It sounds poetic, right? Yeah, quite. <laughs> Take care, Mitchell. See you later. It's fine. Um, I, pr- I will be next week, is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be on. So we're, we're yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And um, what have you seen today? Well, we've just been looking at the, um, the ancient Roman sculptures. Is that sculptures. all? That's all we've seen so far, and then we meandered through the gift shop and found ourselves here, oh, okay. as God wills it. Do you know it. what you're going to look at? We're everything. Okay, I so want to see it all. Yes, yeah, so... Um, Life is a great mystery to yeah. be explored. So, just behind you on the wall, then, How 
on earth does somebody carve a shell out of rock like that? I don't know. It must take them a long time. I think they use water. Water? Yeah, to make the... I, I don't know. <laughs> They use water. Think, yeah, well, I think it's... You, you know something I don't know. <laughs> I don't you know, know how to turn water into one of those. <laughs> I think it's like, I don't know. I think when you carve anything, you, you know, like if you drill through, yeah, like um, tiles and stuff, you've mm -hmm. always got to have running water because otherwise it cracks. To lubricate. Really? Yeah. So I think they must use water somehow, but I don't know what machine they use. Or if they even had a machine, it's a thousand years old. Oh, yeah. well, it'll be like a promise. Maybe they're just with like a little chisel, just yeah. hacking away. Maybe. They might be able to have a machine just would be a mechanical, not electric. What, like a wind-up thing? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? There's some sort of Freddie Mercury. Someone said, go past the boxes. Pass the keys and you'll find Freddie Mercury. I thought that was... Well, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Because we passed the bag, bags, yeah, we, we passed the way, uh, And we... he's not there. You and did not find Freddie there. Oh, I okay. love Freddie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's find him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's go. We went to back to the... Freddie Mercury show. Well, I hope it's the real Freddie Mercury. No. But as I understand it, it's a sort of exhibition okay. uh, featuring him. Right but I don't know where it is. I thought it was that way, but you've come from that way. Yeah, we've come like, from the middle. Let, let's see if it's there. Then. Okay, let's, let's. And, and where, are you, where are you from originally? From Holland. Cześć. Cześć. I, uh... Hello, everybody knows how to speak Polish. Yeah. Dziękuję. Not everybody knows how to speak English. Mm. <laughs> Actually, very few people in England know how to speak Polish. But I, I spent a little bit of time in Warsaw, so I speak a little. Oh, this is the best part of Poland. Yeah. No, I, I liked Warsaw better. I thought it was as beautiful, and I thought the people were much more friendly in Warsaw. Much more open, more, a little more liberal in uh, the way... In, when I went to Krakow, everybody the same political, you know, political opinions, oh, yeah. the same opinions. And what, el what else have I missed in uh, Warsaw? That what is, where is a place that you would go that, that silly English tourists would never find? Uh, actually, yeah, this is, uh, this is a quite a good question, because I haven't um, The walk parade um, across the river. Many celebrities walking along that river. I, kept, I went with a, a Polish friend uh -huh. and she said, oh, this person is famous and this person is Polish rapper. So okay. I mean, that, that walk is that one, yeah, river walk. Probably this one. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's changing a lot. I have, like, I moved here five years ago and um, now definitely you have to have a Polish guy to go to places which <laughs> you yes. kind of can't find really. As a tourist, how about the uh, rooftop of the uh, Warsaw University Library? Oh, yes. So you have like the University it's Library Gardens. It's really beautiful. Yeah. There's, and yeah. it's, it's a bar or a cafe or um, no just a rooftop? Cafe. Well, you have well, it's like a garden. library garden. And, yeah. and like rooftop garden. <laughs> exactly. What about London? What would you recommend to? <laughs> I like uh, boats. I like to be on boats. Um, yeah. yeah I, I do like water, but I prefer to be like on a, uh, for example, on a surfboard. <laughs> you're a surfer. I used to. Like, I don't believe it, really. No, no, I'm like, I'm learning. No, you're you're excellent, aren't you? You're a profession. You're a professional surfer. Yeah, I'm more underwater, let's say. I've I've been looking for a, a professional surfer to be my wife for a long time. Yeah. Oh, now, I've, now I've found her and you. What's her name? Uh, Daria. Daria. Da Daria. Daria. Yes. Dasha. No, uh, not Dasha. <laughs> That's how they um, pronounce it in Russia, I think. Yes, yes. I'm Polish, but I'm half Ukrainian. Oh, like okay. So not Dasha. Um, no. Daria. Uh, Daria. Daria. Yes. 
I, I'm just sort of wondering. I was with my friend and I've lost him. No, oh, so so I, I, I abandoned him. I, I abandoned Honestly. him. I was, I, I, yeah, I was captivated by, <laughs> by Polish ladies, and now, and now I've lost him. So I have to surrender always. Yes, yes, <laughs> I surrender. I, I will apologize. I will say I'm sorry. You understand? I was distracted. It won't happen again. It will. It, it may happen again. But I, you know, I, I have to make it up to him uh, somehow. I thought you were trying to find uh, Freddy. So then you abandoned your colleague. Lost your colleague. Uh, oh, so. yes, yeah, I've lost everything. It, I've gained a, a surfing wife. <laughs> we're to be married. She's going to teach me how to surf. Really? Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, in the meantime, okay, yeah. to to um, to arrange uh, our surfing trips and our trip to New Zealand. New Zealand, yes. Um, do you use WhatsApp? I do use WhatsApp. May I have it? You may. Thank you. <laughs> This is, um, many uh, Polish people don't use WhatsApp, they use Viber, I think, right? My Polish I, um, friends uh, in Viber? Warsaw. I don't really know what's that. It's, it's like a, I don't know either. It's well, like being there as well. Here we go. Very nice to meet you, Sam. Lovely to meet you. So, one little hour stint in museum can generate so much opportunity for conversation, for interaction, for meeting people, if only that's where you put your mind. And if only you look for a way to become creative and playful, instead of saying, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? Who am I going to talk to? You look around you, you observe your environment, you find the artifacts, you think of questions that you really want to know the answer to, you go on your own adventure and in so doing you focus on the people around you and you create the opportunity to bring those people into your adventure whether that is a quest to find the Freddie Mercury exhibition or to find the great hanging blue sticks from the roof you treat it like I am on my adventure I am on my journey and I welcome you to join me on that journey and that is the way that you can turn this in to a lifestyle as opposed to a hobby as opposed to a mechanical robotic let me do so many approaches let me do go up and just practice the approach instead it's like no my life is such that when I have free time I engage with the world I go to interesting places I want to give life a good go I want to have fun I want to go on adventures and you bring people along for that journey. Invite them into your life. Invite them to your events. Invite them along for the ride. So my six week course is in motion now. I've got my first clients. We're all working towards a six week goal and we're all getting to the point where we can approach anyone anywhere with my guidance, my strategy, my data tracking. This component, going on your own adventures, is a big part of this for everyone on the course. The idea that not only do you just go out in the streets and run up to people and talk to them, but you design your lifestyle how you want it. You design the space in your week to go out to locations that you're interested in and engage, engage with the people around you, engage with your journey, engage with your adventure. So this is a big component, and I think I'm always reminding you guys, but more so than ever, it's like you are writing your own story, you're writing your own novel every day, every action you take, every decision you make. Let's make it colorful, let's make it beautiful. So put yourself in exhibition spaces, put yourself in markets, learn a new language, communicate with, with strange and different people, throw yourself into the world today and begin to write the novel that you want your life to encompass. Hello. Excuse me. Hi. Do you know if there is um, a Freddie Mercury exhibition in here? I don't think so. I think there's um, Alice in Wonderland and one of one bags. Alice in Wonderland? Yes. Not Freddie Mercury, I don't think. Maybe in the... I don't know. I'm not sure you'd find him lurking in the Natural History no, Museum. No. That would be a strange place for him to hide. museum or something? Where is that? That's the Science Museum, right? Um, Who knows? I, I was told that 
I was told that he was beyond the boxes and the keys in here, and so I feel like I'm on a quest <laughs> to find <laughs> the ghost of so. Freddie Mercury. I, mean, I don't know. What are you here for? So I am here for a work trip to go to see some exhibitions. So. And this is one of them. You're going to go and find Lewis Carroll's yes, protagonist. Alice in Wonderland, yeah. And yeah. she's lurking somewhere in here. All right. Well, I hope you. Uh, I hope you. I hope you find her. You, yeah. you might I need hope the help you find of. Freddie as well. Well, Freddie's an elusive character. He always has been. He's got a. He's got a dark mind, and so he could be hiding anywhere. There's no knowing. There's really no knowing. Yeah. Um, if you've got a lot of time on your hands. Too much. Too much. Have you? No, not really. We're. I don't know. My um, colleague is running very late, actually. Ah, you are you getting lightly frustrated? Um, her, no, her. no, it's fine. You look. You look quite. You looked then. quite peaceful as I was walking over, in in your dress. So you look very calm. Yeah, I think it's. A- Friday, it's a calm day. There's no need to be uh, anything other than calm on a Friday, right? No. It's a, well, if it's you a Friday Zen. Friday Zen. Light meditation, standing, walking. Yeah. Finding our neutral space. So is your, your day off? You're not working? Uh, no, I'm not working. Do you today. work? Well, yes. <laughs> Do you work? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I work um, online usually, like I, I have an online business, so I can sort of work f- from anywhere um, at, at most times. Yeah. You work um, in uh, d- design. Yes, yes. But it's not interior design. No. You work in... Print design. Right. We work at Liberty, have you heard of Liberty? I know it well. Yes. I've been there many times. So we're Liberty print designers. Okay. And um, you actually do the the, uh, the design print. part. Yes. Yeah. You're an artist. Yes, an artist. Yes. You Wonderful. Could call it that. I think we should call it that, should we not? Yes. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're we're both looking for different things. She's looking for you, and I'm looking for Freddie Mercury. And so, <laughs> and so, this is, this so, is my Freddie Mercury. Ah, oh, I want to find my Freddie Mercury now. We, we can't all be so lucky as you. Um, so if you see the white rabbit, send him my love, and I hope he leads you to Alice. Yeah. And uh, have a lovely day. And Take you. care. Bye. Uh, don't be fooled in your day-to-day life just by looks, just by seeing the types of girls that maybe once upon a time you wouldn't have had the confidence to talk to you. when you were in school. Maybe they were the ones that didn't show any interest in you and now you have this sense that you want to overcome that and you want to make those girls like you. Be careful how your past causes your present to change and causes you to want things that perhaps you don't really truly want and so in some cases you're going to meet someone and they just don't have that spark of life, they just don't have that energy, they don't have that zeal, that adventure that you're really looking for and in those cases you have to be aware of whether you actually like them or not and not fooled by your past by your preconceptions sometimes the energy is just not there and it's not you making an excuse it's not you trying to find ways out and trying to self-sabotage you really don't feel a spark because what you're looking for is something different it's that energy it's those sparkling eyes it's that that warmth that femininity and when it's not there it's not there and you cannot force it. So you don't need to be going for phone numbers all the time. You don't need to be trying to close. Just let the conversations unfold as they will. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I just saw you standing here and I thought you were beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're Russian? Yes. Привет. Привет. What's your name? Julia. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. You've been here for a long time, haven't you? Uh, I actually came to London just yesterday. Really? I'm from Edinburgh. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking of moving here, but we'll You should definitely move here. <laughs> Edinburgh's beautiful, but London has uh, even more than Edinburgh. Yeah. But that's my bus. <laughs> oh no, you're going to leave me. Wow, okay, well, I'm gonna see you in the future. I have a feeling about it. Sounds good.
Bye. Well, nice to meet you. Спасибо. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Um, do you have um, the hoodless black Montclair jacket? Which one do you want to have? The most like standards. I don't we really know. We have like the, without the hoodie, probably there is the Lanik. Where is which is she? more like in between the season. It's not very, very like winter jacket, but neither to see. Where is she? How big enough? But this is the woman. I'm in the women's section, aren't I? Yes. So I'm not going to find what I'm looking for here, am I? Men's jacket? Probably upstairs. Ah. <laughs> I thought you were looking for something for like a present. <laughs> no, I just forgot myself for a moment. I forgot what floor I was on. I, I get lost in here. No, I, I, I walk around, I see lots of things and, and I forget Colorful. that I'm... <laughs> Colourful things, distracting things, yeah. and um, and then I, I, I forget that I'm in the, the, the women's section where you're not likely to have what I'm looking for, unless it's for a, a mistress or something. It's not for a mistress, it's <laughs> for me. <laughs> if you want, the easiest way to go in men's right, take the lift yeah. in front of us, mm -hmm. go up second floor, and in front of the lift there is Mugler. Are you Italian? No. <laughs> I grew up in Italy. But... You have an Italian accent. Pisicuzza. Pisicuzza. <laughs> I speak Romanian. <laughs> Fluently, right? Very. <laughs> Buonasera. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite similar, the languages. But I think Italian. Latin, Latin languages, so it's quite easy. Mm. But you've been in London for five years? No, I got like three. You prefer it in London? I like it. No. I really like the city. In Italy, I've been, I think, for 11 years. Which part? North. It's in Turin. That's a beautiful area, isn't it? Wine country. Famously good for wines. Did you drink too much white wine? <laughs> I drink a bit of wine. They, they have very I can good cheese. Wine and cheese. The Romanian lady <laughs> drinking <laughs> bottles of wine at the table. Well, what does no? Uh, one, uh, one glass is fine. <laughs> I think three glasses is fine. I think after <laughs> after three, the wild side comes out no. and you're out of control. But up until three, I think we're all right. <laughs> I think all of us. Okay. But you look familiar. I don't know from where I saw you. I'm everywhere. Hmm? I'm everywhere. Okay. I'm everywhere at once. <laughs> well, um, I, I, will, I will see you in the future. I've seen you before and I'll see you again. Hmm. And when I see you and, um, and a glass of wine is cooling both of our names, then we, <laughs> then we will go and you will show me how to drink three glasses of wine no, and, still, no, no. and still see you. <laughs> hey, it was lovely to meet you. Have lovely a nice day. Yeah. Keep you smiling. Too. Keep yeah. smiling. So you need to be the minimum viable product. 99% of men will not express attraction towards a woman they find attractive. They would go up to someone in Harrods or in any other store and they would ask her where she's from, what she does, does she like it? And they might even ask for a phone number and then she's thinking, why would, why would I give you a phone number? You haven't, you haven't worked me. You haven't made me laugh. You haven't connected with me. There's no substance there. And so what happens to the other 1%, right? And it's not just guys that are, that 1% isn't just guys who are top models, guys who are the top end of uh, society, the lucky ones that were gifted with the ability to talk to women. No, they're just guys that have decided, they've made a decision that in their life, they're going to express themselves. They're going to act with intent and they're not going to shy away from their feelings and their intentions. They're going to look people in the eye. They're going to look women in the eye. They're going to tell them they're pretty. They're going to tell them they're beautiful. They're going to express the intent that they want to meet with them. And those are the guys that surprise women, that make their day, that make them feel different, that give them something to think about, that restore their faith in men. So don't fall into this trap of just 
small talk, you know, chatting up a girl, but not actually ever connecting, not actually ever trying to learn who she is, bring out her playful side. So be the guy, just decide to be the man who expresses himself clearly and engages with women. Solamente así. Muchas gracias. Yo voy para pegar. Uh, aquí en Londres. Sí. Eli, 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 Eli es mexicano. Entonces uh, la gente habla español juntos a veces. A, a las veces. A veces. You are Colombian. Ecuador. Ah, the best chocolate. What is your ice? Ice stove. Ice stove. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. You just walked past me and I thought you were beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're from Russia. No. Second guess. Romania. Yeah. Isikutsa. Yeah, this is this is all of my Romania. And Buna Sera? Buna Sera. How long have you been in London? Uh, one year. No. Yeah. Feels like home? Almost one year. Mm, not really. You miss? Not you miss Romania? No. I don't like the weather. Well, it was alright earlier. Today, yeah, usually not. So nice. But you get used to it, right? Sometimes the clouds um, are calming. The sun is too intense. Well, I lived one year in the south of France. Nice. In Monaco. That's beautiful. And um, you can't compare. <laughs> I lived in, uh, well, not lived, I stayed in Cannes for two weeks. Okay. And I, I used to visit Nice, but I've never been to Monaco. No? Did you go with uh, a boyfriend? Yes, I was engaged. Really? Yeah. I have never been engaged. No? No. Is it fun? Hmm? Is it fun? Uh, depends. Mine wasn't that fun. Hence, I'm single now. Oh. So. Yeah. <laughs> that can all change in a moment. Sorry? Do you live here in Chelsea? Yeah. Near to, I used to live in Battersea down the road, yeah. but now I live in East London. Okay. You have a very, very expressive eyes. It's like you. You, you, everything you're thinking, I can see in your eyes. No, I am thinking now. You're thinking this is strange. I don't completely trust this man, but it's nice, and I wish more men did it. Hmm. No, I was just thinking about what should I eat. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's brilliant. Well, what, what are you going to eat? There's a chotte manger down there. Mm-hmm. Well, there's very good Lebanese food. Yeah, I don't know. I'm what, going what, home. What, what I just you like? went to... Uh, what would you like to eat? Shopping, so... Um, no, I don't know. I'm going home and I will eat something <laughs> from the fridge. I'll take you now. We'll go and have Lebanese food. No, thank you. You don't want to My come ice in? cream is melting, so I have to go home. <laughs> Sounds like... Your ice cream is melting. No, it's too cold. It has to warm up just the right amount so when you put your spoon in it, it comes out in a nice Yeah, if I go nice eat uh, Lebanese with you now, I will drink it like a soup. We have our probably. dessert. Our dessert's <laughs> ready. Now I must go. Okay, I'll let you go, but I, I, I honestly, um, I find you very mysterious and attractive, and I would like to meet you again. Um, you have a very you have an interesting um, thing where you kind of look to the side when you're thinking sort of look over here when you're thinking about something um, I understand you, you've got to go and eat your ice cream but uh, you know I, I feel like I want to see you again so I don't know don't worry I'm not going to ask you to marry me <laughs> Well, you already say that you want to get engaged. I said, who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But uh, we won't we won't jump those hurdles before then. Well, no, I'm I'm okay how I am now. <laughs> you're beautiful as you are now. I've told you this already. Oh, thank you. And no, you're I'm radiant. Okay in my loneliness right now. <laughs> really. It's interesting because I can see that you like me and I like you, and yet you'd I mean, rather. Honestly, I like men. <laughs> yeah. But I could like women as well. But, uh, like... Do you? So I could. Do you? I do like women as well. But not in that way. I like men. So how will I find you? We've got adventures to go on. We've got forests to explore parks to sit by, we've got walls to climb, we've got high places to visit. I can show you the world, I'll make you see in 4D. You'll see all of the 18 colors of the rainbow that most people can't see. Yeah. We can do anything together. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But it requires that you step out of your loneliness for a few hours and, and life calls you towards adventure. And when you feel that cooling inside, you take the opportunity and run away with the handsome Englishman. You, your friend must wait in for you. He doesn't like you. I like you. <laughs> no, I said he must be waiting for you. He is. And you're waiting to go home with your ice cream and eat it. And Sorry? You're waiting to go home with your ice cream and sit in your loneliness with your Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. And think I about... Love it. <laughs> Yes, you have a dark side, so do I. We all have two sides. We have our light, happy, fun side, and we have our slightly twisted dark side, which enjoys sadness and, and pain. What's your name? Your name? Never said. Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cat. <laughs> no, you can just be this. You have English number or Romanian? Yes. Yeah. Plus, this is you? Yeah. I send you a message. Okay. Um, enjoy your Ben and Jerry's. Thank you. Enjoy Goodbye, your beautiful walk. Romanian girl. Excuse me. Hi. 
I understand you're probably waiting for a boyfriend or something, but I, I saw you standing here and I, I would have felt bad if I didn't tell you that you're beautiful. Thank you, thank you're you. You're welcome. I'm actually waiting for my friend, sorry. Okay, cool. Well, ha have a lovely day. Thank you. Keep too. smiling. Thank you look you. nice when you smile. So we've seen all there is to see in South Kensington and Sloan Square. And now Soho is beckoning us as it always does. So, um, yeah, just a quick note on that interaction. It's like sometimes it's not always going to be positive, right? And when it's not, you've got to learn to reframe it. So, in that situation, it's basically equivalent of a, I'm not interested, go away. But instead of re reacting to that and responding to that, you just quietly smile and continue it in as nice a way as possible, right? As if you're completely not reactive to the response. You are continuing with the same energy that you came in with and you wish the person the best, wish them a nice day. If you uh, decide you don't want to, that's chilled. Yeah. I don't really care. Um, what was this song? Well, I'm not sure. I'm... You haven't watched it? What's up, man? Oh, it's All right. What's I'm, uh, my name's Callum. Callum. I've seen What's Sam on, on YouTube, so yeah. I just recognise oh. him coming into Green Park, so I thought I'd say hello. What are you guys up to today? I've got a date at seven. Thanks, thanks to, thanks to yeah. some of your and uh, oh, content. So um, yeah, no. So up until then, me and him are just out. You gonna have a walk in the park? Yeah, we thought so. Yeah. Uh, last time I saw yeah, you, said on a day like this, it's quite good. Yeah, yeah, it's good it's weather. The best man. That's yeah. The thing, yeah. We've yeah, just yeah, been in uh, South Penn and, okay. and like Sloan Square. Yeah. Just wandering through, and because the camera's small, we can just go in. He can be filming, and I can just go up and talk to you. So it's been so much easier to to do it like this. But uh, but yeah, good luck, man. Awesome. Enjoy Thanks the day. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher your name. I, <laughs> Ray is not obvious how to spell. Lots of people say Raya, don't they? When they first meet you. Raya. Raya. Actually, do you know a fun fact for you? When Tell I go to Starbucks, I've got a fake name for them because they always get it wrong. Me too. Yes, what is? Me too. Uh, Ryan? No, it's Sam. It's Sam. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Bye, ladies. sort of distracted by the, all this. You're serving tea and... Afternoon tea, excuse me. Excuse me, what's the, uh, what's the event? It's a fashion show. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a real fashion show. Is it a, a design? It's just, kind of it's like just a video. video. It's what? A video? video. Okay, don't make it sound like that. It's basically like a fashion show, a mini fashion show. Is it a va video or a fashion, really a fashion show? There is models. There's models and there's clothes. They're just yeah, standing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, stop making it sound like that. No, she wants a catwalk. The lady wants a catwalk. <laughs> I understand why. Oh, that's what I mean. Okay. This is the longest queue I've ever seen for a video and some standing models, but yeah. in, I bet it's going to be great. I hope it's going to be good. There's a nice bar in there either way, so if you get bored. We don't drink. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> Can't help you ladies. Enjoy. Have a nice Thank day. Thank you so much. You too. Bye bye. Hello, folks. 
Hope you enjoyed the video today. We're finishing off in Piccadilly Circus by the street dancing. The once great, but now a little bit shabby Piccadilly Circus. So look, the main thing about today was just going out there and getting stuck in as early as possible, knowing that you're gonna get tired, knowing that the earlier you start, the easier it becomes, the easier it is to find some sort of flow state We've just been having fun. We've been allowing ourselves to get lost in the adventure of it. An old lady recommended that we go to Fortnum and Mason's because the chocolate is good. And so we go to Fortnum and Mason and see what happens, see what comes out of it. And really what I want to emphasize in these coming months is that you embrace that will to adventure. You embrace that sense that you're not just going out to do your approaches in the street to get numbers to go on dates. You are doing this for something much greater and much deeper, which is to live your life in a way that creates adventure, to live your life as a novel, as a movie, as you would want to look back on it and see yourself engaging with the world, making the most out of everything, smiling at your failures and having that unstoppable, illimitable attitude. So that's what I'm focusing on with my guys on the course. We've got our three clients for this round. I'm still taking calls every day. So if you're even thinking about it, if you've got any questions, get in touch with me. I'll make that 30 minutes for you to see if we can sort your life out with or without the course. Guys, this is your adventure. This is the only time you're ever gonna have whilst you're young enough to get out there and make something happen. Enjoy it. And if you can't, talk to me and I'll help you to open up. Love you guys, thanks for the support as always, and enjoy Sam. Out. Hey guys, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I've been the man behind the music. My name is Joey Robbins. I play the drums. Um, feel free to follow my Instagram, Joey Robbins Drums. Thank you.